grade. I wish that you were here so I could be able to teach you in person about recorders because recorders is really my favorite time of the entire year. But since we can't, I guess this YouTube video will have to do. So today we are going to talk about how you play the recorder and then we're going to practice ba ba ooh la la together. Okay? So the first thing you want to do is log into quavermusic.com. This is really the recommended way they want you to practice with me um, because it will give you the option of playing along with a recording, not only just the music, but there's like a recording of a recorder playing in the background. Okay, so you really want to try to get logged into here. If not, I suggest taking this YouTube video and listening to the song itself and practicing with that recording and me with this video. Okay, so if you can log in here, I want you to log in here. I gave you a packet that has all of the music in it. So if you can't log in, you can go here. But this is where um, you are going to find your Quaver name and your password of how to get into Quaver. Okay, if you don't have this, they're not going to let you in. So for third grade, you can see on your orange sheet and on here, the, pa the Quaver name is LQPD Student 3. Okay, you got to put a 3 there because you're in third grade. I will have third grade assignments under 3. Your password is exactly the same, LQPD Student 3. Okay, this is at quavermusic.com. I'll give you a link down in the, this YouTube video. Okay, so once you type that in, LQPD Student 3, you're going to push enter. It's going to bring you, maybe, well, okay, it's going to bring you either here, if you choose no Adobe Flash, okay, if you happen to get it with Adobe Flash, okay, this is what's going to come up. It's going to ask you with Flash or without Flash. I would choose without Flash because it's going to take you right to the assignment page. If you have with Flash, then it um, is going to take you to Quaver Street. Okay, let's just allow it for a second. And this is what you're going to show. If you're here, there's lots of other things that you can do, but your assignments is down here under student. Okay, and it's, I want you to come back to this page anyway. So if you do without Flash, this is easier. So you're going to go under assignments, and I have two options. Third grade recorders is going to give you all of the songs in their original form, okay, that you can practice with. And then I'm going to show you under song variations of how um, you can go to practice the song slower, okay? So let's just start um, under third grade recorders. If you choose third grade recorders, it's going to launch it for you, okay? Here's the info packet that I sent home right here, but on paper, or not on paper, okay? You can read that if you want. It's going to tell you all about your belts and how to pass them, okay? Um, then I want you to watch these videos, okay? We don't have a lot of, um, we haven't talked about um, the recorder. So all of these videos is going to show you how to play the recorder, okay? All right, so let's start at the very beginning of how to play recorder. I'm going to go here because it's going to show me some more in-depth things. Maybe that's the same one. Woo! Come on. Okay, so first we're going to listen to this song, and it's going to tell you how to play the recorder.
two important things about how you play your recorder. So if you want to get out your own recorder at home, okay, so here is a recorder. Yeah, okay, so you should have one. It can be either in the color that you choose. If you have one that's colored, it's going to be one piece, okay, just like mine. If you have one from the school and it's brown, it might come in three pieces. Please don't spin it around because it might end up backwards. You want the holes in the front, okay, and then the thumb hole in the back to blow. If you flip it around the other way, it's not going to make sense, okay? So if you have a school recorder, just leave it as it is. Don't take the part, pieces apart, okay? So everybody's recorder is going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes in the front. Okay, the most important thing is to remember that you're doing left hand over right. That's vital. You have to have your left hand. So this is my left hand. It might look backwards in the video, but here's my left hand. My left hand is going on top, over the right, left hand, over right, okay? If you're right-handed, you're really gonna wanna do it like this but please do left hand over right. When you come back to school, I will correct you. If you're doing it wrong, it's gonna be really hard to switch back, okay? So you are going to use the finger pads. I need a new board, I think. Your finger pads. So this big fat part of your finger, not the fingertip, but the finger pads. On your left hand, you are going to put the thumb in the back, okay? And then three fingers on top, okay? Pinky on your left hand doesn't get a friend. He's just out here by itself. You can rest it on the side so he's not out, but one, two, three fingers on the left hand, and the bottom four are for the right hand. One, two, three, four, okay? So thumb, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So try that. Make sure that all of your fingers are covering all of the holes. You don't want any gaps in it because leaks cause squeaks, okay? If you watch the videos, you'll know what I'm saying. Leaks cause squeaks, so you want them covered all the way up. So try that on your own recorder, okay? Once you have them all down, you can practice some with your left hand. So how you play is you say the word two in your mouth. Kind of like you're spitting or like trying to blow on a candle. Two, okay? You don't want to bite your recorder, okay? Just put your lips on top of it. Let's do it nice and tight. In my mind, I'm saying two, two. So that's the action of my tongue, two. up straight so that you're getting lots of um, air in your lungs. I know that you're probably practicing on the couch or something and you want to lean back but sit up straight so that your lungs can fill up. Cool. Okay, next um, we're going to learn our first note. Okay, so you can find this on either one of my assignments here. Okay, it's going to be on both third right recorders and song variations. Okay, in song variations, that's where I am now, that you can practice our first two songs. They're not for any white belts or anything, because that's ba ba ooh la la, which we'll get to. But we're going to practice a couple songs to get you used to B and A before we start ba ba ooh la la. So we're going to start with that first note, B. On this recorder fingering chart, it's really cool. You can see all of the notes. Okay, it's going to show you where the note is on the staff over here. Every good boy, our B is right there. Every time you see a B on the staff, your recorder is going to play with one finger because this makes a B sound, okay, when you cover it with one finger. So our first note is B. It's the highest note that we're going to know for a while, okay, so B. Covering one whole thumb, two, and one hole. My fingering chart over here, if it's covered with a black, that means that the finger is covering it. If it's open with white, 
there's nothing on it. Does that make sense? Black is covered, white is not covered. Okay, so let's try our B. Walk like a mummy. So let me practice. I want you to listen to the whole song all the way through. I'm going, only going to listen to part of it to keep my video short, but you listen to the whole thing through before you start playing. So let's listen first. you know how it goes you can hear that there's a recorder in the background right as well as it's telling you the note right here and what it is okay so once you get done listening you are going to count it with ta's and toddies okay so go through use your finger that's easiest ta 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 Ta, 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 Okay, then you're gonna go through and you're gonna say it with the notes. On this song, there's only one note, so I would go B, 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 and go all the way through, just like that, okay? When we get to la, ba, ooh, la, la, I'll see, you'll see why that's important. Then I want you to have the song and play the song and listen to it and move your fingers. Okay, for this one again, there's only one, so you won't have to do it. But when you get to ba ba la la, you'll have to. Okay, and then once you get done doing that, you are gonna play it. Okay, so you can find this song um, in right in here in your assignments. Song variations. It's kind of these are practice songs. Okay, song variations for practice, you can find this song, okay? Once you get done practicing that, then our next song um, uses the note A, okay? So you can see here A, F, A, right on that space that we know so well. And my A is going to have two fingers. So B is one, A is two, and you're adding it. An important thing I always like to remember, the higher it is on the staff, the less fingers it has as we're going down. So you know that B is up here. A is down one, so it's adding fingers as we go down. Okay, so B, A. You're going to listen to this song, so let's listen to it, and then you're going to count it. You'll notice that it is the same rhythms as the last song. There's a different back music. Ta, 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 ta. Then I'm gonna go through A, A, A. A, 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 the whole thing through, okay? Then I'm going to listen to it again and then play it. It's important to know that as I'm playing it with the music, I'm thinking in my head, ta, 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 and that that's going on in my head as I'm playing, okay? And so let's get to ba, ba, ooh, la, la. Here is the practice one. So I'm going to go over to the original, okay? You can find the original over here, third grade recorders. This is really where you want to practice. I'm going to show you what this one means in a second, okay? So this also has recorder fingerings, and you can see under third grade. There you go. We 
can see under third grade that Baba Ulala, you can click under instructions. It's going to tell you this song, play this song correctly to earn your white belt. So you're going to practice this song at home the same way as I'm teaching you. And then you're going to take a video of yourself and email it to me, nduffield at lqpb.org. Okay? So just have mom or dad or brother and sister video you or prop your video up and video yourself. Okay? Video and send it to me. I will watch it and I will send you back a score. If you did really well, I will tell you, move on to your yellow belt. So move on to your blues blues. If you didn't do so good, I'm gonna tell you what you need to fix before you can move on, what you need to practice more. Yeah? So let's practice together. Listening first. Here we go. I know that this is this year's fourth graders favorite song and I'm thinking that it's gonna be yours too that voice is really fun okay so we listened to it all the way through yeah we're good so now next step is to count it Taz and we have Tadis okay remember that this is um, a hat right there you can see a little hat so four beats of rest and then oh sorry this is the whole and then here we have the hat, two beats of rest. Yeah, so here we go. Ta, 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 di, ta. Ta, 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 di, ta. Ta, di, ta. Ta, di, ta. Ba, ba, ooh, la, la, it's a piece of the Okay, so now you'll see it's important that we are saying the notes, okay? So, because we have two different notes now, it's important that we are going to now say it through with the rhythms adding the notes. So we're not gonna say ta's and toddies, we're gonna say either B or A for this song. So it's gonna be B, 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 A, B, A, B, 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 A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, A. Yeah, as long as you can do it all the way through, then you can move on. If you're struggling saying those, practice it a couple times. So maybe these parts are hard. A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, A. Yeah, okay. Once you're done practicing those, then you're gonna play the song but you're not gonna make any sound with your recorder. You are just going to move your fingers along with the music. Okay, so the music's gonna play here. I have my music on my stand, so I'm gonna look at this so I, you can see my fingers moving along with the music. Okay, so let's do that together.
You'll also notice that these are changing for us too. So you can follow along there too when you're at home by yourself. part of the song. Okay, if you go back to song variations, you're going to find the song in a different format and it will allow you to go slower. Okay, so this is what I have here. Notice though, there's not a recorder over here to help you with fingering. Okay, so you have to decide, do I need fingering help or do I need to go slower because it's too difficult. Okay, so if you leave it and leave it as it is when you pull it up, it's going to give you the original speed. So let's listen. Yeah? Okay. But if you want it to go slower, you can choose over here it says tempo on the bottom right. The original tempo is 96 beats per minute. If you want it to go slower, you can do 88 beats per, per minute. It's going to slow it down a bit. It might help you practice it. Or if that's still too fast, it's going to bump this one down all the way to 80, which is nice and slow for you to practice. So if you're having trouble getting your ta, ta, di, then you really want to go to this page so you can slow it. So let's play this together. Um, I'm going to let it play through one more time, one time slow and with my fingers, and then I'm going to add in and play with it. Okay? You can do the same. Here we go. One more time, let's go. So I'll just go back here and play it with the regular. Yeah, so let's play together with the original and then I will let you go and practice so you can send and then you can send me videos. Here we go. 